What if you started a brand new map, but instead of starting here, you start here on one single block? In this series, I'll be spending 100 days on one block Minecraft. However, there is a twist. I'll be doing this entire challenge in VR without removing my headset a single time. On one block Minecraft, you start off with only a single block. This block will respawn infinitely no matter how many times you break it. It also gives you better blocks as you progress through the different phases. This block can also spawn mobs, chests, and animals. There are 10 different phases and the last one is of course the end portal. And my goal is to defeat the ender dragon. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It only takes one second and it really does help me a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, it makes me a little sad knowing that 88% of you guys don't even subscribe. So if we can, let's try to get these numbers a little bit better, I really would appreciate it. Also, if you do like the video, then please make sure to leave a like. Now let's go ahead and get this VR series started. So in VR, this is so cool. I start off and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And then I realize I'm floating on one block and if I fall, I die. And in VR, this was so scary and you could literally see me shaking. But then I found out when I opened my menu, I can actually see my arms moving around. And I started dancing and had a lot of fun with it because, well, I'm a loser. But just think how cool I look in real life doing this. It took me a little while to actually get started because I thought when I broke the block, I was gonna fall. But then, being the noob I am, I did fall. Oh god! <laughs> and let me tell you, when you fall inside of VR, it feels like you're really falling. And I may or may not have shit myself. The nice thing about this horrible experience is that I spawned back with a shovel. And let's just say I got my revenge on that stupid block for making me fall. I got my first chest that I almost broke and it had a sapling in it. It was even oak, which is my favorite type of tree. Because you know what they say, if you ain't oak, you are broke. Or something like that. I'm sorry, my jokes are horrible. You guys should really just leave. Anyways, shortly after that chest, this pig spawned and it pushed me right off the damn map. Whoa! And upon falling, I may or may not have shit myself again. Because this wasn't VR after all. After I spawned back in, I was gonna get my revenge. But then I thought, damn, Karen's looking hella thick and juicy. But then she reminded me of my ex, because she is a pig after all. And I hit her off the map anyways. Gravel would spawn, but it kept falling immediately, so that was kind of annoying. Eventually, I found this chest with a water bucket in it, and I decided to try to place a block underneath the block. I didn't have that much experience with Minecraft and VR yet, so I was having trouble with the controls, and I came up way too fast and almost fell off the map, shitting myself for a third time. Seriously, Minecraft and VR is really scary. I swam back up, placed the block, and now I can mine all the gravel that I want. Then this happened. This really weird chest spawned in making a weird noise at me, but I got really excited because I thought I was about to get some OP loot. Maybe some iron tools, or maybe some diamonds. So I opened it and... It wasn't very good as you can see. You know how when someone gives you a gift and you really hate it, but you act like you like it? That's pretty much how I felt. Luckily though, right after that, my block got an upgrade. This thing sounded like a ticking time bomb and I thought it was about to explode right in my face. But it didn't explode and I got an upgrade to the planes. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I started mining away and it just seemed like a bunch of dirt and wood. But then, a few minutes later, my ex-girlfriend spawned in again. I felt bad killing her last time, so I was gonna let her live. But because I'm in VR, I accidentally hit her with my shovel when I raised my hand. And just like that, my ex-girlfriend left me once again. Stupid shovel. I didn't want to murder any more of my animals, so I went ahead and extended my platform some so that there'd be more room for animals to walk around. After I finished extending my platform, I went back to mining blocks and you guys will never guess what happened. My ex-girlfriend's mom showed up. Me and her didn't really get along that well, but I was tired of killing my animal, so I was gonna let her stay anyways. I mined a few more blocks, and then my stupid shovel broke. So I decided now was probably a good time to make some tools. 
I made my first crafting table and then I made all the wooden tools. I'm not actually sure why I didn't think about making this earlier. Uh, I guess I kind of just forgot that you can craft on this game mode. After that, I decided to slap down two chests and I organized all my stuff because I'm a little OCD and I hate when my inventory is a mess. And you know what makes Minecraft so cool in VR? You can actually pet the animals. Aww. Day one was almost over and I quickly found myself becoming addicted. I mean, what's more fun than this? Mining block after block after block. And then when I thought my addiction couldn't get any stronger, another chest spawned in. And I had some feeling that this chest was going to be the chest I've been waiting for. So of course, I decided to open it and guys, guess what I found? <sighs> the chests in this game mode are so bad, I swear. I already knew I was having bad luck, but then my girlfriend's dad spawned in. Now, he used to always boss me around and even inside of Minecraft, he just sat up on that block and ordered me to keep on mining. So I kept grinding away for the rest of the night. Day one was already over and I managed to ship myself three times, die twice, and I lost two animals. I'm really curious to see what these numbers are going to be like after day 100. Day two started off good but it quickly turned into chaos. These two twin chickens spawned in and I also found out since I was in VR, if I physically took my hand and hit the block, it would actually mine it. I didn't have to hit the button. And then, like the stupid idiot I am, I accidentally hit both chickens with my shovel and they fell off the island. I started panicking because I really didn't want to lose any more animals so I grabbed my water bucket and I went over to the side of my island, got on my knees, and prayed that I could save them. They looked like they were really far away so I thought I wasn't going to save any of them so I swam down and luckily it looks like I actually managed to save one but sadly the other one got separated and had no chance. I was actually so proud of myself that I saved this thing, but look what happened. Like how does that even happen? How does it just drown on its way up? It was such a sad moment. I got back up to my island and my animals were definitely judging me for what just happened. I'm sorry guys, I tried. I went back to mining and then I had a really cool idea. What if I tried dual wielding inside of VR? I don't know why, but for some reason it felt so epic dual wielding axes, even my animals thought I looked like a badass. I think my only regret is that the kids who used to bully me can't see how cool I became. In the middle of me looking like a total badass, my ex-girlfriend spawned back in, but I accidentally yeeted her right off the map. Even though she did break up with me, I felt really bad so I decided to go in the water and try to save her. My plan was to get underneath her and then hit her back onto my island. Surprisingly, I managed to save her, but then her mom fell off and I had no idea how that happened. Maybe her mom was just really sick of her shit and didn't want to deal with her anymore. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean seriously, how bad do you have to be for your own mother to jump off the island? Shortly after that little incident, my ex-girlfriend's sister showed up. And believe it or not, she's actually worse than my ex. I mean, just look at that face. Ugh. I decided to go ahead and build a pin for my animals because I really didn't want to lose anymore since I already lost most of them. And here's a little time lapse. I was debating on not putting this in here because it's kind of embarrassing, but it's also funny. Because I'm playing in VR, I really struggled climbing up this ladder, as you can tell. It took me a good minute to figure it out. When you're in VR, you have to like physically climb it, but I think that adds a really immersive aspect to it. You know, when you actually get the hang of it and you're not a noob like me. And then like any good owner, I brutally beat all my animals until they got into their pen. To celebrate all my hard work on the animal pins, I whipped out two shovels and I went ham. My ex-girlfriend's mom came back and she broke my damn shovel. <gasps> How dare you break my shovel. 
That's a bad cow. Go into timeout. I went back to mining and I got some more blocks. Then I got this pig. Then I got some more blocks. Yeah, so pretty much to sum up day two, I got a bunch of blocks and animals, including the sheep I got. But then I got my favorite animal. <gasps> Chicken! But you also have to go on timeout. Right as day two was coming to an end, I got another one of these weird heart chests, and I was really hoping something good was gonna come out of it, but it was just some apples, a grass block, and some saplings, unfortunately. However, some good news though, as soon as I mined it, I got an upgrade. I was really excited, but look how excited Nelson was. The upgrade ended up being the underground, which I thought was really ironic considering we're floating on one block up in the sky, but I was really excited to get better stuff. So to celebrate, I made a second pickaxe and, well, you guys already know the rest. Day 3 had already started and I went ahead and made myself a stone pickaxe, axe, shovel, and hoe. And as you could tell, I was super happy with my upgrade. Aw, oh, look at me dancing around. I began the day with mining and then this giant red thing spawned. I didn't even know what the hell it was, but it looked like a giant used tampon to me. Sorry if that's kind of graphic. I don't know why that's my analogy, but whatever. It was the first thing I thought of. I'm sorry. I'm really lame and immature and I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> but seriously, look at it. Why is this thing so freaking red? Since I was really confused, I actually took off my headset and googled what this was because I was really curious what I could do with this thing. So it actually turns out this thing is called a mushroom cow, and if you make some bowls, you can actually milk it and get mushroom stew. So I guess you can shroom it, I guess? But it's crazy. In VR, you can actually smell it and it tastes really good. And now that I have a source of food, I won't have to worry about starving anytime soon. At this point, I wanted to go ahead and make my tree farm because I knew I planned on doing a lot of expanding, so I was going to need a lot of wood. I had extra slabs left over, so I also decided to upgrade my animal pin. And then I spent the rest of the evening watching the trees grow. Once nighttime came, I went back to mining and I got another mushroom. Things were looking really good for my peaceful little island until... A mob spawned out of nowhere and I was panicking. I didn't have any weapon and because I was in VR, I couldn't, like, I, for some reason I forgot how to attack and I was really freaking out. A few moments later, two more zombies spawned and I was literally shitting myself. You have to remember, I'm in VR and because of that, these things are literally right in my face and they seem so much bigger than they actually are when you play on PC. I really thought I was gonna die because I didn't have any armor on, but luckily I killed them both without taking too much damage. As a joke, I put my mushroom stew up to my mouth like I was gonna eat it in real life, but it actually made me eat it, which I thought was really cool that they like actually implement real things like that to make it even more immersive than it already is. And let me tell you, in VR, that mushroom stew is so warm, sweet, and delicious. You guys really have to try it out. Let me know in the comments if you wish you could drink mushroom stew in VR. One of those zombies I killed actually dropped a leather helmet and so I was finally able to cover up my bald head. Which was really nice because the nights out here get really cold. And when you're playing in VR you can actually feel it. Now you guys can't make fun of my bald head anymore. I did one more victory dance with my animals and then these three cute little bunnies spawned. Right when they spawned, one of them tried killing itself. I think it's because it looked at me and thought I was really ugly. Unlike them, look how cute they are. Aww. And I spent the rest of day three watching the sunrise. I finally decided to go ahead and make my garden because I got really tired of eating mushroom stew. As good as it was, I think it was time for some new food and I really wanted to start breeding my animals as well. And I'd like to introduce you guys to my two hoes, Sally and Sandra. But please, whatever you do, don't go looking them up on OnlyFans.
Wow, look at that gorgeous garden. My hoe sure do know how to plow. I had it mined in a while, so I decided to get back to the grind and then this really spooky chest spawned in. What is this, Halloween? I figured it was gonna have better loot than the love chest though, so I opened it up and yeah, still shit. After being disappointed in the chest, I went back to mining, but then I realized I never actually put walls up around my pin, so I made some fences and went to work. I finished putting the fences up, and guess what I did after that? That's right, I went back to mining. I mean, this is one block sky block after all. Then out of nowhere this big ass spider spawned, and I'm already scared of spiders, let alone in VR this thing is huge. So of course, you guys know I'm already panicking. I can barely switch to my weapon because I'm freaking out, but I finally managed to pull out my axe and I get those double crits, baby, which is surprisingly hard to do in VR. I mean, not for me though, because I'm such a pro VR gamer, you know? As I was mining, I felt like something was watching me on my island, so I turned to the right and these creepy ass bunnies were just staring at me. Later that same night, I got my third piece of iron, so I cooked it all up and I made my very first iron pickaxe. And you already know, I definitely did a little dance to celebrate because, let's be honest, dancing in VR Minecraft is a lot of fun to do, so don't hate. And you guys, this thing is so strong in VR, I was literally able to mine anything in just two hits. And that got me thinking about a really good idea. That's right, double pickaxe, baby. That's right, a creeper just spawned on the middle of my island and I had nowhere to go. I was extremely pissed to say the least. I was making really nice progress and I just lost half of my animals. Maybe I'm a psychopath, but I took my anger out on this poor innocent bunny. Stupid bunny, this is all your fault. I jumped down into the animal pen to check out the damage. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of my animals, but there wasn't too much damage to the island itself. So I spent the rest of night four fixing up all the damage. The next morning I thought, okay, last night was a bad night, but we're gonna recover today and have a great day. Oh boy, was I wrong. Just wait until you guys see what happens. No, God! I tried running over to my trees and I accidentally pulled out a shovel, but I didn't care. I slapped that bitch in the face with it anyways. Somehow it still blew up. I swear I was so far away from this thing. So I was really annoyed that it blew up when I was trying so hard to keep my distance. At this point, I didn't even feel like repairing my base. Instead, I had an even better idea. I went over to my chest, I grabbed some sticks, I grabbed some stone, and I made myself my very first sword. Holding this thing made me feel like a total badass. And I could only imagine how cool I looked in real life holding this thing in the air. However, as cool as I looked, I took it one step further. You guys might be thinking, I listen, you, you, you're already the coolest person with that sword. Like how could you get any cooler? Well my friends, double swords baby! So of course, I had to test this thing out on some zombies. I finally got a zombie to spawn after a few blocks. I ran away trying to equip my two swords. Just look how badass this fight looks. Comment down below if you think VR Minecraft combat is way cooler looking than normal Minecraft. I got back to mining and during that whole day so many mobs were spawning. A spider spawned, and then right after that these two zombies spawned. By the end of it I was so close to dying even with my double swords. There is one big downside to VR that you guys have already seen. I walked into my animals while holding a sword and it killed both of them. I didn't swing or anything, I literally just walked into them. So that's one thing that's really annoying about VR Minecraft. Like I said earlier, day 5 had so many mobs, and unfortunately guys, another creeper spawned. Haha, <laughs> got you guys. I actually did kill this one luckily. All thanks to my trusty sword. And I'm sure you guys already guessed, I did a little dance to celebrate. 
but I accidentally partied a little too hard and punched a hole in my floor. I went back to mining and then I found another love chest. Maybe this would finally be the chest I've been waiting for. Once again, it was crap, but this time it had a map. I looked at the map and it made me realize how small my island was, so I decided now was probably a good time to build a little area for my house. The only spot I haven't built yet was behind my chest, so I figured that was probably a good spot to put it. I spent the rest of night 5 expanding my island. The next morning I made all the iron tools and I felt super excited so I went to show them off to my animals and then I got really sad because I realized most of my animals have died. I guess I wouldn't make a very good dad. I don't know, what do you guys think? But it's okay that I was sad. Soon after that I got an upgrade and it made me happy again. I stood back just in case it exploded because hey, with all those creepers you never know. Luckily though nothing exploded and it looks like I got an upgrade to the icy tundra. I really don't like the winter biome, so I'm not really looking forward to this. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. I was getting a lot of snowballs and ice blocks, but unfortunately I wasn't actually able to keep the ice. And then this cute little dog spawned in, so I was finally able to have my first real pet. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should name him. I'm thinking Dream, only because I want some of that good luck that Dream tends to bring. You know, it's definitely not because I'm a fanboy. Dream invite me to your SMP. A few blocks later, this weird looking skeleton spawned. I haven't even seen one of these, so I was really scared. Also guys, please remember this is in VR, so things are way more scary when it's literally right there in your face. <laughs> later that night, two of them spawned, and I really thought I was gonna die. So I strategically retreated and one of them fell into my animal pen. Luckily my dog was down there, but I didn't want the skeleton to kill my dog because he was my best friend after all. I was really scared I was going to accidentally hit one of my animals with the sword, so I had to be really careful. I climbed back up and I had a nice refreshing meal of mushroom stew. <sighs> you guys really gotta try this stuff in VR. While I was mining that night, I had a pretty interesting idea. What if I could actually melt the infinity block and get free water out of it? And after a good while, guess what finally happened? No, it didn't melt unfortunately. I went back to mining and these twin foxes spawned and they were so cute looking but they took my blocks! So I yelled at them and chased them around but they wouldn't give them back no matter what I did. <laughs> I didn't even know foxes could do that. I actually tried offering him my shovel but he just ran away. I finally gave up and went back to mining and then a third fox spawned, I couldn't believe it. I accidentally touched him with my pickaxe and I think my dog ate him. <laughs> That's a bad dog, okay? You don't eat the foxes. Only I eat the foxes. Then another dog spawned in, but this guy did not like me at all. He took a bite out of my hand and then chased me through my island. I didn't want to kill him, but I was having a really hard time getting away from him as you can see. I thought he was going to end up killing me, but I finally managed to climb up and get away from him. But he was very pissed. I eventually got him on my good side though. He even let me pat his head. I didn't really do anything else for the rest of day 6, I just did a lot of mining. Day 7 started and I decided I wanted to build a little dog house for my dog. But he got really jealous of the fox and pushed him off the island. That's a bad dog. We don't push foxes off the island. I still built his house for him though, only because he's so cute. I even gave him a little chest with his own food and some chew toys. We really need a name for this guy. I was gonna finish off the night mining, but then this huge bear spawned. This thing is so big in VR, and I got kinda scared because I thought it was gonna bite my face off. When I finally got him in my pen, he was doing this really weird thing at me though. I don't know if he's mad or just happy. Another skeleton spawned, but I let my dogs eat them. They do love bones after all. Speaking of bones, I actually had two of them drop, so I tried giving them to my dog in order to tame it, but unfortunately it didn't work. And then I got sad, so I went back to mining. But fortunately my luck turned around and I got a chest with some ice. I was really happy because I could finally think about making a mob spawner. I spent the rest of the night making little boxes to melt the ice. 
And of course I missed the hole. Going into day 8, I had shit myself 4 times, died twice, and killed 12 animals. I started off day 8 with some mining, and then I heard this weird noise. Apparently a monster party was happening. I mean, I'm all for parties, but definitely not this type of party. So many mobs were spawning, so I ran over to my new area and I tried building up. I was finally safe and able to pick them off one by one. You guys might say I was being too scared, but to me this was just being smart. My dog was a lot braver than I was, that's for sure. I was able to finish them off and then I realized my ice still hasn't melted so I put up some more torches. I decided to go ahead and start expanding my tree farm because I really wanted to get my mob spawner going and I knew I was gonna need a ton of wood for it. Later that night, two skeletons spawned, but they were no big deal. I got some bones off of them, so I tried taming my dog, and it actually worked, so I finally got my first dog. But I still don't have a name for him. He was so happy though, he started dancing. I've never seen a dog do that before. Normally I hate farming wood, but there's something so peaceful about doing this in VR, especially with these really tall spruce trees. You actually feel like you're inside of these trees. And I don't know, something's just really relaxing about it. So I actually really enjoyed my time farming. I spent the next day farming wood because I was going to need so much in order to build this mob spawner. My goal was to get 6 to 7 stacks before I started building. I swear farming wood in VR could be some sort of like stress reliever. You literally just feel like you're in a forest chopping down trees. And nothing else in life matters. While I was farming wood I got an achievement and I realized my two mushroom cows had a baby. <gasps> Wait, oh god, I just thought of something horrible. I have two mushroom cows that just had a baby. But when that baby grows up, I'm gonna have to breed it with its parents? Oh god. What is wrong with this game? After scarring myself from that thought, I added up my wood and I was more than halfway done. Alright, you guys are probably sick and tired of seeing my tree farm, but I don't know, there's just really something relaxing about it, and I figured maybe it will help relax you guys too, so, I don't know. Let me know, does anything in Minecraft relax you, or am I just really weird? Maybe it's because I'm in VR, I don't know. I don't really get this feeling when I play normal Minecraft. Alright, this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but the reason my ice had it been melting is because it's actually blue ice, and blue ice doesn't melt, in case you guys did not know that. So I felt like such a noob here, and I was really sad because now I don't have water for the mob spawner. I also decided to keep the ice there just to remind me how dumb I am. It was finally day 10, and I think my luck finally took a turn for the best. As I was mining, I got a chest with actual ice in it. So I guess I do have a little bit of good luck. I made two more boxes, and this time I knew for sure I would have water. And when the water finally melted, I made myself an infinity pool. I only needed a few more stacks of wood, so I went back to chopping down those trees. And don't worry guys, I know you're sick of the trees, I'm only showing a short clip. Finally I had enough wood to begin construction on my mob spawner. I used most of the wood to make planks, but I also made some trap doors, ladders, and some slabs. I wasn't really using my garden that much since I was mainly eating mushroom stew, so I decided I would actually destroy my garden and put my mob spawner there. Normally I'm pretty good at building these, but so many things went wrong, like you guys are gonna think I'm the biggest noob. Just wait until you guys see everything that kept happening as I was trying to build this. When I built my first pillar up, I realized I had no way down, so I had to do my first MLG jump in VR, and I was hoping I could pull it off. Well, sadly, it's actually day 11, so this is going to be the end of part 1. During the first 10 days, we shit ourselves 4 times, we died twice, and we lost 12 animals. What do you guys think our numbers will look like by day 100? In part 2, you'll see the mob grinder built, and we'll get to see a whole new phase. If you guys like this video and want a part 2, then make sure to like and comment on what I should do next to my island because I really have no idea. 
I really had a lot of fun making this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you want to be able to play my exact world after I finish the series, then you can do so by subscribing to my Patreon. Also, we have a Discord with over 8,000 members. You guys should definitely join and you'll get the most up-to-date information about my next video. Other than that, I hope you guys subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.